What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today we got another pod kit. This one here was sent to me by a company named Modi. This is the Moti Play. It is a very beautiful, sexy, elegant looking device. So let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this. Come back, vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Modi Play. And here's the packaging of the Modi Play by Modi comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual, type C charging cable, a lanyard, and a device. And here's the pod that comes in the kit. Comes with one coil only. Don't know why. There's the coil, and it is a replaceable coil pod. Pod holds two ml of e-liquid. Fill port is right here. Pop the rubber plug. That's where you'd fill it from. There is a little metal grommet there that holds it in place. Hopefully it lasts. I would have preferred a different fill method. Nice mouthpiece on there. And here is the coil that's pre-installed. It's a 1 ohm, 10 to 16 watt mesh coil mtl coil now for a separate purchase they'll have this here this box that you see here and inside this one i think it's a uh, 0.45 coil so they'll have 0.45 for you to do more of a warmer vape restrictive direct lung vape so in this video i'll be using the one ohm coil because that's what comes with the kit so i will put two drops right down the center that's called priming the coil then i'll put the coil inside the pod Press it down, make sure it seats into place. Pull the rubber pluggy open, grab my nozzle, and fill. And for those curious, there is the liquid that I'm using. And after you filled it, make sure to let it sit for at least five minutes to make sure that cotton is fully saturated. And after you've done that, you'll grab your mod, pod, put it in, and magnets hold it in place. And there is the Modi Play 900 milliamp hour battery. On the bottom, you're gonna have airflow controller. So right now I have it on that single dot and you could turn it, cut it down or have it fully open, which will be there. Since I am you doing MTL, I'm using it like this, cutting it down just a little bit. So I get a little bit of a tighter pull on the side. Here's going to be your type C charge port. This is going to be your power button, five clicks on five clicks off. And it's also for a fire button draw. The device also has auto draw. On top of here, this button is to change the wattage. So let's power it on. One, two, three, four, five. And the fire button is in an awkward position here. There we go. It will say Modi. And there is the display. On top, you do have a little lock symbol. You have your battery indicator, wattage, resistance, voltage, and puff counter. Pressing this button here, you can change the wattage. And you're going to see it goes to 15, 16, and then it resets. So this is a 30 watt device, but because it's using the one ohm, it's basically preventing you from going any higher. So you don't burn that coil by mistake. So it's got like a smart feature going on with it. Now, if I press the uh, fire button that's over here and this button here at the same time, you get that lock symbol on top. And you can see right now that's locked. So that doesn't work. That doesn't work, but auto draw is still on. Press them again, and it'll unlock. Now, puff counter, where you see here, let's power the device off. One, two, three, four, five. It'll say CU Modi. Okay. Now, if I press the, the same two buttons again, keep them pressed, that's the way you clear your puff counter while the device is off. Now, it's powered on. One, two, three, four, five. Start. Modi. You can see puff counter has been reset. Taking a look at the device, it does say here 900 milliamp hours, made in China, Modi Play, Modi. It's got this little X symbol going on there. It's a nice looking device. I think they did a very nice job with it. Feels quality. And then over here, you're going to see these two little holes. That's where your lanyard would get hooked up. And for a size comparison, I'll put it next to a Caliburn Coco so you get a basic idea between the two. And there you go. That was the Modi play by Modi. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. The up close Modi play by Modi. Mike, your thoughts, pros and cons. Before we get into that, you guys already know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. It does help out the channel. You know, guys know YouTube is suppressing vaping. They mess with the algorithm. The unsubscribe people. Hit that notification bell icon. Make sure to be subscribed like and comment thank you very much back to the video so mike you have any pros and cons with this the rubber plug i kind of wish it was a different fill method but it works 
Steve is happy, obviously. Rubber plug, lanyards, he's happy with all that stuff. But anyway, that's besides the point. For me, one of the biggest cons with this kit is that it only gives you one coil. Makes no sense. You should... Modi, two coils. That's mandatory. That's the way it should be. There's no reason to give just one coil. If that coil is a defect, the person that buys this device, the coil is no good, then what do they do? Yeah, so always include two coils. That's a shame with this. It should have came with two coils. Other than that, the fire button is a little bit awkward where it is, but it does have auto draw, so I'm fine with that. Now, the one thing I can report is, let's say I, I have the airflow opened up fully and I try to do a auto draw works beautiful let's cut it down to MTL airflow felt the same let's turn the airflow off barely any difference for me if the MTL experience when the airflow is totally closed off it's got a beautiful MTL the Airflow controller doesn't really cut off properly the airflow, but it does it just enough to where when it is closed off totally, getting a nice MTL vape. And then when you do have it fully open, let's do a restrictive direct lung. You could do it, even with the one ohm coil. Now, the other coil that's a separate purchase, you get an even warmer vape, more clouds. That one there, it's going to be a too hot of a vape for an MTL. The one ohm coils, if you're into MTLs, this is where I think this thrives as an MTL device, where you could occasionally, if you want a little extra, hit it as a restrictive direct lung. The one ohm coil is great. Nice flavor, nice vapor. It's a beautiful device. We're going into pros here. You have a beautiful, vibrant display. Got all the information on there. Definitely a pro. I like the way they designed it, the way it looks. Just a nice looking device. I don't know if that's a pro or a con, it just makes me feel good. It's got a nice comfortable mouthpiece. And like I said before, pros is gonna be, obviously it comes with a lanyard for the lanyard peeps out there. Steve is happy about that. What's that, Steve? You want this one after I'm done? Are you sure? If they didn't send me an extra one to give you one, you want the one I've been using? He don't care. He's like, it's got rubber plug, it's got a lanyard, he's happy. All in all, it's a nice pod. Let's have another hit. Like I said, let's turn the airflow totally off because that's the way I like it and do some MTL. I'm using 12 milligram in here. You could use your Nick salts. A lot of people don't understand when I say tw regular nicotine. That's regular uh, nicotine. Then there's Nick salts, which is a different type of way of making it with the nicotine. I don't, I'm, I'm not really a Nick salt user, but for those that use Nick salts, yeah, you can use your Nick salts or like I said, regular nicotine or no nicotine at all, zero Nick. Let's hit it. Very nice. I'm digging this device here. It's just sad that they only sent me one coil for it. Uh, I would actually, I'd actually use this a lot. This is a very nice device. But anyway, there you go, guys. That is the Modi Play by Modi. In the description below, I'll have no links to this Modi Play because I'm not allowed. It's the good old YouTube policies. But we'll have links to me, Mike Vapes, down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and keep on vaping.